To get a high quality voiceover or gaming commentary, it is essential to make a few adjustments to your audio first. Find out more in this video. Hi, I'm Maximilian and in this tutorial I'll be showing you my audio editing process. I'm not an expert when it comes to audio, but I've got plenty of experience working with my audio in Audacity, Adobe Audition and Resolve. Most of the time I prefer to use Audacity and that's the first piece of software we're gonna look at today. Before you begin recording your voice, I recommend you to get a 5 to 10 seconds of room tone that will be useful for noise removal later on. So when you've recorded your audio, first thing you need to do is to normalize it. Brings the amplitude of your audio to the highest peak available without changing the dynamic range. Find me on Instagram at maximilian.yt Find me on Instagram at maximilian.yt To normalize your audio in Audacity, select the audio, go to Effect, Normalize. For my voiceovers, I use these parameters. For you, they may be different. In Resolve 16, right-click on the audio and select Normalize Audio Levels. I use the same parameters as in Audacity. Find me on Instagram at maximilian.yt Next step is to remove background noise. In Audacity, select the room tone you recorded at the beginning, go to Effects, Noise Reduction and click Get Noise Profile. After that, select your recording, go to Effects, Noise reduction again, set your parameters, and these will depend on your audio. You can get an idea of the end result by clicking preview. And then click OK. Find me on Instagram. In Resolve, select the audio, go to Effects Library, Audio Effects, Fairlight Effects, then drag and drop noise reduction. You can select Auto Speech Mode for automatic noise reduction, or you can choose Manual, which I'd recommend. Click Learn. Move the playhead to where you have your room tone or noise profile and press play to show resolve where there is noise in your audio. Maximilian.yt The final step is optional, but I personally use it quite a lot. It's called compression. Compression changes the dynamic range of your audio to flatten the amplitude and make the highest and the lowest parts of your audio sound more closer together, so to speak. Find me on Instagram at maximilian.yt You can use my settings if you want, but then again, these will depend on the audio that you have. In Resolve, go to Fairlight tab and double-click on Dynamics on the right-hand side. Choose Compressor and based on the volume of your audio, you can raise the makeup or lower the threshold. For example, if I raise the makeup to 14, I'd want my threshold to be at about minus 15 or so. So that's about it for initial audio cleanup process. Take care.